More than 200 Walmart workers and supporters gathered outside LA's Chinatown Walmart demanding better pay and full-time work. We're fighting it's better wages, better living, better, better pay, better health care. They didn't care about us. Um, they give us less hours and they expect us to do more work. 54 protesters who refused to get out of the street after their permit expired were arrested. The arrest happened with no incidents, but police came prepared with riot gear, 100 officers, and a helicopter circling above. Today's protest was sparked by a statement made by Walmart's U.S. CEO, Bill Simon. Simon stated that of the 1.3 million U.S. workers employed by the corporation, only 36% make more than $25,000 a year. I know they can afford to pay me you know, $25,000 a year. I'm not asking for a, a corporate position in Walmart or anything like that. I'm not asking for gold watches and Rolexes and all that. And I'm just asking for the basic, for me to be able to provide the basic necessities in life for my family, such as putting food on the table. Some Walmart employees who did not join the protest say they have had a positive experience with the corporation. It's a good environment. The managers have been very um, open to any suggestions I make. Personally, if I had any issues with any of my working conditions, I would go straight up to go to the manager, or I would call the hotline that we have here, or I would just not work here. Walmart spokesman Corey Lundberg says hardly any employees participate in these types of protests because associates know the corporation provides economic security and ways for them to advance. Protesters say tonight's arrest won't stop them and that they are getting ready for more demonstrations happening on Black Friday. La Marana Diallo, Los Angeles.